Well guys, the Stirling engine now runs continually, and I mean like, continually, it will not overheat. This has been running for over an hour, it's on its second pot of metho, never looks like slowing down or stopping. That's cool, but that's warmish, hottish, <laughs> I'm not going to touch that, but what I did, I'll show what I did on it. You can see in here I've swapped out the aluminium spacer and the insulator I had and I put in a much thicker asbestos insulator. I know it's asbestos but you, you know if you don't disturb it it'll be okay, it's gasket material and I shaped it up and, uh, and now look at it, I think it's, it's going brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly. I'm really pleased with this. I could put one more parting off section through here to give it a bit more cooling effect, but it doesn't seem to need it. I mean, it's running. Amazing. Normally, if it, you run it and stop, and then try to start, it won't go. You know, other ones I've made. But this one ran out of metal, stopped, refilled it, the pools and away she went and it's been going ever since so yeah the CPU cooler works fantastic pretty good eh? oh, oh, what an awesome little machine what an awesome machine so there you go you got an old CPU cooler this is the answer this is definitely the answer power piston will not overheat so you've only got to address your cooling here and once I put that asbestos in there that Asbestos uh, gasket material. Um, it just solved the whole heat transfer problem. So yeah, it's just complete. Uh, that's it. You know, as I said, I could put another cooling fit in here, but not much point really. You know, I've got to pull it all apart to do that, so I'll leave it. And now it's just a matter of paint up the supports and make up a proper board for it. I've got to make up another pot for it. I'll show you what I'm going to do for the, this is the um, I'll turn it off. Quieten things down a bit. This is the best one I've built so far for sure. So the only heat transfer now is convection. It's not coming through, you know, it's air transfer. It's not coming through the actual um, mounting system. Even though I had insulation in there, it wasn't good enough. This has totally solved it. So the next thing now is to make up another uh, metho pot. This is the one from the previous engine I, I built, which also runs, but that will only run for 17 minutes and then it overheats. But it's overheating on the power piston side, you see. But this CPU cooler is the absolute answer. I mean, that totally eliminates that problem. I mean, it's not even, it's barely, barely warm, you know. I mean, that would be too hot to touch, but, uh, but yeah, so I'll show what I'm doing now. To make up the new uh, metho pot for this motor, I've had to cast some more aluminium because I didn't have any big enough diameter stuff, so I've had to get out the old indoor furnace and just do it in that with the butane torch uh, because it's been wet outside and windy, so yeah, you just put the butane torch in there, the regular primus, just anybody's old butane torch type thing, the big one, and that'll melt down the aluminium, no problem at all. There's a bit left in there, you can see. That's just an old, that's actually made out of an oil uh, filter off of a container off of a tractor, and it banged on, you know, welded on a handle. It's an old paint tin with a whole lot of perlite, 
and uh, cement mixed into the liner. You would have seen that in the previous videos I've done. So I'll show you what I've cast. Right, uh, here's a piece of aluminium that I've cast up that uh, I've just got a machine up now. You can see that's just, you know, regular round stock. And that's the method I use. I've shown in previous videos where you just use a piece of really good um, uniform tubing with no seam in it. And this is off of a roller on a treadmill. They use good seamless uh, tubing on all those rollers. And uh, it's just a matter of put it in some sand, pour in your, uh, your molten aluminium and you're good to go. So that's the next job. Get on with this, machine it down and uh, make up another metho pot. So we'll make one of these. You can see some of my home cast aluminium down there under the, under the lathe stand. Uh, round stock and square stock and we're going to make this size this time which is bigger diameter than that so I want to make it larger type pot and uh, as it's going to run longer so that'll be the next job so that's the state of play it wasn't long ago I did a video on this but I thought what the hell while I'm uh, fiddling around I might as well give you a look at it show you where I'm at, how it's going, you know, and, and when you do these home design and build up engines, you've got to persist and there's a lot of head scratching and grey brain material thinking goes on, more than one or two glasses of red go down the old throat and, uh, you know, you've got to lubricate the brain after, otherwise well, it just could seize up. And we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? So anyway, that's it from me. Uh, I may do a final video on this just to show it when it's complete, you know, with a nice fancy base and all the rest of it. But yeah, for now, mechanically, we've got the bugs right out of it. And yeah, that's it from me. See you next time. Cheers.